Hey guys. Okay, so today I plan on doing a clean my kitchen because look at it. Whoa. Like, let me just... There's stuff everywhere. Everywhere. So, anyway, I also have cakes due this weekend. Um, if you don't know, I think I mentioned this in my very first video, I bake cakes and decorate cakes. So, I also have two cakes due this weekend, a baby shower cake and a birthday cake. And so, I'm in the middle of doing that as well. And so, I do plan on posting a video of filming um, the how-tos um, on both of those. And so, um, not how I bake the cakes, but how I decorate them. And so, I plan on doing that today as well, but I just kind of wanted to film this. Um, quick, clean my kitchen. I gotta get my kitchen clean before I mess it up again <laughs> with all the cake decorating stuff. So, I also wanted to show y'all the order that I got from Grove Collaborative. This video is not sponsored by them, but I do want to mention this because if you're like me and you don't have a Target near you, because I think I've only ever, our Walmart doesn't carry 7th Generation, Caldrea, Method, Mrs. Myers, they don't carry that. Maybe some Walmarts do, but ours don't. And so, um, I wanted to mention if you don't have a Target near you, because they carry all that stuff. Um, I'm not sure that they carry everything that Grove carries. Um, Grove probably has more of a selection, but it is very convenient for me to order from them. It comes straight to my door. My closest Target is an hour and a half away from me, so that is not convenient. <laughs> so, and I really like their cleaning products, so I kind of wanted to show you what I got from them. I just got my order yesterday, and I did order some new things and some stuff that I always get. Um, but if you don't know what Grove is, it is a monthly subscription. Um, if you probably do, if you watch any of these cleaning videos from anybody, most people have Grove orders. Um, and if they don't, they have in the past. So, um, it's a monthly subscription, but what I really, really like about it is that if you don't need anything for that month, it's really easy to go in there and change your order and skip a month or skip two months. Or if you're going to be out of town, you can move your shipping date. And y'all, seriously, it's really easy. I know most of the time when, when companies say that you can do that, um, they make it impossible just about to figure out how to do that. And, um, it's super, super easy. Like seriously, when you go in there and look at your basket, right at the top it has change shipping date, move shipping, move shipping date, move months, whatever. Like it's super easy to change your dates with them or change months or skip months. Like, um, so it's really, it's a really good deal. Also, they send you emails every single month um, and they, they let you know if your um, shipment is on its way. Like your order ships soon. Your order ships in a week or whatever. So you can go in and make changes to your basket. And you're not just surprised with, holy crap, like wh however much money just came out of my account. I forgot I had this order coming. They don't do that. They, they give you plenty of time to know that your order's coming if you need to change it. If you don't need anything that month, um, they really give you the opportunity to do that. And I really, really like it. And... Um, they, have, they always have everything I need. It always comes packaged really nicely. Nothing has ever um, leaked or anything like that. So it all comes wrapped really nice and you have a, um, a shipping order. It tells you exactly what you got. And if they were out of something, they'll check it and let you know this was not in your order. I've only had that happen one time. Um, something that I ordered was out and they let me know on my packing slip that it would be shipped to me as soon as it was available. And it seriously, it was like two days later, it showed up at my door. So anyway, I want to show you everything that I got from them and then we'll start cleaning my kitchen. Okay. Also, I know I look great right now, but I went and worked out this morning and I don't put makeup on to work out because I'm not there to impress anybody. I'm there to do some cardio, okay? 
So anyway, I don't get these. I didn't get these from Grove this time, but I mentioned these in my last bathroom cleaning video. I use these on the girls' toys um, and the high chair. Like I use them on everything that they have that I can wipe down with a wipe. Um, they smell amazing. They're the mint scent. Um, I grabbed these when I was at Target um, last week. They do have these at Target. And so I grabbed these at Target because my Grove order um, was shipped to come later or was scheduled to come later. And they had these, so I just went ahead and picked them up. But I normally do get these from Grove. And um, I also wanted to say, y'all, Grove, it is not... Um, it's not expensive, like, especially for me, by the time I get in my car, drive to, you know, the Target that's close to me, waste the gas to go over there, and then get the products, they're more expensive at Target than they are at Grove, is what I'm trying to say, and so, it's really, the, the membership or the subscription is really, really worth it, like I say, you don't have to pay every month if you don't, it's not a monthly thing, if you don't need it every month. And it doesn't matter. You don't have to have a certain amount in your basket. You don't have to spend like $40 or, I mean, I think I've spent like $26 before, you know, cause I only needed like one thing or two things. And so I can't remember how much these are on there, um, but they're really inexpensive. So these, these are great. They're the seventh generation multi-purpose wipes in the scent garden mint. They're really nice, really, really nice. So I like those. Y'all, I got this hand soaps. I always get my hand soaps from them. Like I said, I think I said one time in a video that the Mrs. Myers um, apple cider is like my favorite scent of all time for anything. <laughs> for hand soap, for um, they made like a dishwash, dishwashing liquid with it. And I bought it one time. But I think, I know it's a fall scent, obviously. But I think that um, they've discontinued it. I really hope that this fall they come back out with it because it's my favorite and I couldn't find it this year and I just happened to have some that I had not opened from the year before under my sink and so where I ordered a ton. I ordered like a ton of it and so because I wanted to be stocked up because it's my favorite but I am running low and so I got the Caldrea. This was new. Sea Salt, sea salt and Rolly. Um I never had ordered this before, but I heard a lot of other YouTube cleaner people, people who clean on YouTube, say that um, this was a really good scent. And y'all, it is. Ooh, I can't tell you. I don't really know what it smells like. I can't like, I'm not really good at that. Um, like describing scents. Oh man, but it just smells like fresh and clean. Um, yeah, so it's really good. So I have this in my kitchen. This is a hand soap from Caldrea. And then I also got this one because I know I really like it. Um, it's the Tangelo Palm Frond. I think I'm saying that right. Palm, palm Frond. Who knows? It's this one right here. And y'all, oh, it's heavenly. It smells so good. I'm saving this. I do like this one better than the Sea Salt and Rolly. Um... But I really do like that one. But this is just, you, this is great. If you have not tried this, this is really good for hand soap. I also have this in the countertop spray. And I also have this in the dishwashing liquid. So it's really good. Um, I also, these are products I've never gotten before too. The seventh generation disinfectant spray. I normally use Lysol. But I wanted to give this a try. I like Lysol, and I don't think it's harmful. But I and I use it like um, if we've been receiving or not been feeling very well or whatever. Um, I uh, I usually spray it on our mattresses. Lysol. I usually spray Lysol on our mattresses and our pillows and stuff like that. But I wanted to give this a try. I want to be honest. I'm not really crazy about the smell of this. It says it's fresh citrus and thyme scent. Those don't really go well together to me. Um, yeah, it kind of smells very um, medical. Does that make sense? Medical? Like a hospital? That's kind of what it smells like. Uh, but I'm going to use it. 
Um, it kills cold and flu viruses and it kills up to 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. You don't have to rinse. Um, you can use it even on food contact surfaces. So um, it's all natural disinfectant spray. I'm gonna use it. It doesn't like make me wanna gag or anything. I mean, it's not that bad. But it's just not like Lysol has like a nice scent, you know. This not so much, but I'm gonna use it. I'm in, and I'm excited to use that. This is another product I never have um, used from them before. It's seventh generation granite and stone cleaner. It smells good. Um, Mandarin orchard, orchard. <laughs> Mandarin orchard. It smells really good, but correct me if I'm wrong. I didn't know this. I, I guess I didn't read really the, when I ordered this, I didn't really read the, um, what it was like I knew it was granite cleaner but I didn't read the scent um correct me if I'm wrong I have a lot of granite in my kitchen and are you not supposed to use citrus on granite right um I didn't think you were supposed to but maybe this has something else in it that I mean the first ingredient is water so um it says it's good for granite and stone. Granite and stone cleaner. I'm gonna try it. Maybe just on like a little small spot first because I really don't want to jack up my granite in here. Um, but I wouldn't think they would promote something that wasn't good for, they wouldn't put granite on something if it wasn't good for your granite. So, let me know what you think in the comments because I've always read that you're not supposed to use citrusy things to clean your granite with. But, we'll see. Also, I always, always, always buy this. Let me turn around right. Always, y'all. This is the best glass cleaner I've ever used. Um, that spray glass cleaner, what's it called? I think it's called just glass cleaner. It's in a, it's in like a, a can. It's in like a can like this, like an aerosol can. And um, it's really good too, but this, no streaks y'all like no streaks i use this on my on my doors in my showers it's really really good and i was hearing somebody on youtube say that it was an all-purpose cleaner yeah glass and surface cleaner i have been using this on some of my surfaces and it does great so it's not just a glass cleaner it's an, like an all-purpose like you can use it for everything um i use this to wipe down my baseboards in my bathroom and uh it has a really nice scent. It's a mint scent. So it's really, really nice. I really recommend this if you haven't used it. I like it. Also, I always get the Mrs. Meyers um, room fresheners. And I always get, usually I get lavender and um, the lemon verbena. Uh, and I did get lavender again because it just smells really, really good. Um, I have to watch putting this in my girl's bathroom because Sadie, my four-year-old, she will spray this on her hands and her feet and her body and she uses it like soap or cleaner. It'll, she'll spray it on the wall because she's really just like fascinated with these little deals right here. But I do like to spray these on my, on my uh, linens and our towels when they come out of, right out of the dryer. It does really, really good. It holds the... It holds the scent in. This is a new one from Mrs. Myers. To me, I don't know if it's new. New, new. I probably not. Oh, it's a limited edition scent. So maybe. Um, it smells really, really good. It says it's mint. Does not smell like mint to me, but it smells good. Um, it smells like cucumbers. Um, could you focus please that would be awesome so I could show them this I mean I don't know I see people do this oh yeah it does help um, it says it's mint it says it's mint it does not smell like mint it smells like cucumbers but it smells really 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 good so yeah I think that was everything that I got from Grove I really would encourage you guys to check them out um, 
it's a really good company. They've never done me wrong. I've used them for almost a year now, and um, I really like it. I really like the convenience of it coming straight to your door. It doesn't take long to get there, and for people like me, like I said, who aren't near a Target, it works out perfect. So, I guess I need to start using some of these products and clean my nasty kitchen. Leave your shirt on the floor There's no reason to get up There's a print on your cheek From my wrinkly pillow There's a smile from the view of the window Your lips there's a clean from your toothpaste Spend time cutting marks on your fingers Let's lay here and waste our time I'm gonna love you like crazy Waste our time Hey y'all, I just wanted to show y'all this cup that I got when we were in New York. I really thought it was really cute. I got it at Starbucks there. And I do try to collect Starbucks cups in any state I go to. Um, I have several, so I really like that. Also, right here I wanted to show y'all how I clean my uh, my four-year-old's cups. She has the cups with the with the straws right there, as you can see. And I just put them on those little pegs in my dishwasher, and they really seem to get get it more clean. Um, but honestly, I rarely put those cups or sippy cups in the dishwasher. I try to clean them by hand because they can get mold inside of them very very easily so I most always wash them by hand unless they're new and I've just got them from the store and I'm really just kind of rinsing them so I guess that I should say